Derby is the scene here of this uh, first T20 International of three here in the UAE and looking forward to this immensely because uh, of course the Aussies were here not long ago and they got run over just quietly just saying A start for Patel on debut and his first one disappears for four. Big Nick, first one now. Huge as well because it's Baba Azam. Gonski. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's another one. First wicket, he's on debut. And Patel, look at that smile from the left armor. Well, what a time for uh, Patel picking up his first wicket. Oh, up and over. Took a risk. Did Hafiz. But he is underway with a boundary. Oh, hello. And goodbye. There's a swivel pull and note. Oh, that sounded sweet. And it is. And it's four more. Well, as I said, that he doesn't give much room. Clever. Very clever indeed. All the way as well. There's six of the innings. The other side this time for Phillips. Can't get there. Another boundary. Yeah, just too short. And Hafiz waited nicely on this again. Very healthy, thick edge. Oh, that's lovely. Good timing. No chance for Adam Milne. And another boundary that hurts even more now. Oh, huge. Just swing through the line. Yes, please. That has gone all the way. Back into the stand. That'll be about 85 metres at least. It was in the slot and gone. Six is so good against spin. He's running away with the show here. Of these into the 40s. That's an edge and four. Can't do nothing wrong, Hafiz. His captain likes it on 45. Oh, magnificent. Really is stupendous gadget point. Tim Saldi with a blinder. Well, we were just talking about the importance of New Zealand trying to get a breakthrough, break this partnership up. And Adam Milne again providing the breakthrough. Muhammad Hafiz looking a magnificent touch, easing his way to 40, 45. But a superb effort from Tim Saldi. We've just seen that the umpires are deliberating and maybe whether the ball came out of Southie's hands, I'm not too sure. Uh, looks pretty good to me. Wonderful catch from Tim Southie. He's been known over the years to take superb catches. Great pair of hands. Mohamed Afiz goes for 45 or 30, 36 balls. Pakistan now 77 for three. Gets this through the infield, get runs, fast outfield, four runs. Beautifully placed. Oh, oh you got to be at your best when you bowl to Safraz if you're a spinner because he'll keep on doing that. Improvised beautifully. That's gone up in the air and taken on the full. Another excellent catch. Glenn Phillips, he's a keeper. But boy, lightning fast in the outfield. The stage was set for Asif Ali to hit the ball a mile, but he failed. Good to see brilliance from New Zealand in the field. 95 for four, Pakistan need to get cracking. Shweb Malik is in. This is it to the fence. This was deliberate. Played the field. Well, I think we'll see in a minute whether or not it was deliberate. But heck of a way to start your innings. Well, fine. Gone fine enough. Tried to take pace off it. 
Up inside the circle, Ajaz Patel brings about a boundary to welcome one. Oh dear, sounded good, is good. It's what they've been looking for. Yeah, they were eyeing for that. They wanted to get a big hit, they wanted to get going. There, straight up or not. Chance, chance, oh, another good catch. Boyd, I've been outstanding in the field. New Zealand, Corey Anderson this time, running away to his right, takes an outstanding catch. Amazing catching. Push for two here. They should take it. Oh, keeper, there's a chance again for a run out. Oh, direct hit, he's gone. Direct hit, and he is gone. Needless run out. Never interested in two. Bahim Ashraf. And it'll be Shog Malak that'll be run out. Gets that, gets it well enough to go all the way. Just backed up another slower ball, did Milne. And this time, he was waiting for it, Fahim Ashraf. One over remaining, 134 for six. Oh, enough, not enough, not enough, yes. He showed he just couldn't quite get those legs going quick enough backwards. It just got a hand to it. It didn't look the best for each side. Just gets it through the gap. Mid off and cover up inside the circle. So that's the only gap that pierces it does. Imad. Yeah, the timing was good. The length delivery, it was just gone before uh, the fielder dives at it. The timing was excellent. Maybe one more boundary. Well read. Very well read in Mark Wazim. Has he done enough? Picked up 10 runs off the last two deliveries. Just made that total a little bit better for Pakistan. 148, so New Zealand will need 149. Saudi will be disappointed with the finish, but I think all in all, New Zealand will be pretty happy with where they're at. And this uh, last over uh, really give them hope that that's what they were looking for. They were looking for something around 150, 155, maybe a couple of runs short. But overall, I think uh, Pakistan will be happy. Babar gone early today, a man in form. Sabzada Faran couldn't really get going. Asif was gift for motive up the order. I think once again Hafiz was outstanding. Uh, debut for Ajaz Patel, given the new ball, one for 27. Saudi, just that last over, but still very respectable. Milne, superb tonight. The Grand on three overs. Ish Sodi, very tidy, four overs, one for 24. Munro, the only one a little bit expensive off his one and only over. With and gone through the offside. Sweet as beautifully timed. Over pitching and Phillips in good position to play that lovely cover drive. That's into the gap. That is such a good shot. It's hand eye coordinated. It, and only Munro can pull it off. That's gone almost for six. Imad Wasim is on again to Munro, who Name cracks it down the ground. That's magnificent. Six. Munro there opening his shoulders and letting Imad know who the boss is. Beautifully hit. That's goodbye and good night as well. That was massive. Muscle over long on this time. You don't see this very often when Imad Basim is bowling with the new ball. Puffing and puffing, is blowing his cheeks. Yeah, well, again, this time Munro picked the angle. He's just cleared those legs a little bit more and still, though, hitting straight. Not looking to go cow corner or into that leg side. Oh, finds the gap. Improvisation this time from Munro. He's not allowing him to settle down. 
wonderful counter attack from the left hander. Oh, hello. That is EK714 back to Karachi. Oh. Have some of that. Nothing wrong. Ah, uh, fine leg up. What a start to the sixth over, the final of the power play. Just about nine, ten deliveries. Colin Munro has just put all the pressure back on Pakistan. A huge hit down the ground. Hassan Ali tries to go full, goes leg side, concedes the boundary. Lots of pointing going around. Sarfraz. Oh, there's the result, and there it goes. The celebration, characteristic of Hassan Ali. First one down at 50. And boy, did Pakistan need that. The slower one this time. Hassan Ali gets a crucial wicket for Pakistan. Back of the hand, slow one, never comes on. The inside edge, onto the stumps. And the opening partnership is over. Courtesy. Back of the hand, slow one from Hassan Ali. Oh, good stuff. Young Afridi. Shaheen, that is. Tall man, young man. Good man. Oh, lucky one. Gets the outside edge and it races away to the fence. Welcome boundary for New Zealand. Two runs at least. 50 for Munro. It has been one swashbuckling innings. 50 of 38 balls. This is how he bats in uh, limited overs cricket in T20s. He's a Shansha king. He's just continuing on his fine form in this format of the game. He's been brilliant the last year or two, both internationally and around the world in franchise cricket. Go, go on, up and over the infield. May just go and hit the fence. Well, that must ease the frustration. This is getting just a little bit agitated. And Colin Munro, he just doesn't have power. He's got innovation as well. Reverse scoop up and over backward point. Just using the pace and angle from Hafiz, helping the ball on its way. We see this shot a lot in T20 cricket around the world now. And Colin Munro certainly got it down pat. Wonderful shot. In the slot and put away. That's beautiful batting is not allowing the bowlers now to settle into the act. And take her at long on, it's Asif Ali with safe hands. It's a, a massive breakthrough for Pakistan because Munro was hurting them. Let's go back upstairs. There's another one. Yeah, pressure was being exerted, and it's Imad Basim. The bowling change has worked amongst wickets. It's first of the night. Direct hit and gone. Bullseye from Pakistan. It's Shadab. He's a gun fielder, and it worked. Him fielding at point. And hitting the timber, and it's all over for uh, Ross Taylor. Well, it's been well documented, the improvement in Pakistan's fielding in recent times. They seem to be getting a run out every single game of T20 they're playing at the moment. And here's another occasion where a direct hit causes maximum damage for New Zealand. An unneeded run out. Unfortunately, New Zealand at the moment, they're just losing wickets too fast and too regularly. Grant Holmes gone for six. New Zealand now 89 for four. But, uh, he got a good chunk of this. He certainly did. Much needed for the New Zealanders. Yeah, how badly they needed that boundary. Because 
just the runs were just becoming a bit too much for them. This will ease a little bit of pressure. Typical of uh, Ross Taylor heading through the mid wicket. Run rate required is 12. 828 of 14 now. Two overs to go and 13 each. Really love this to go for uh, 10 or 12. And gone! Down the throw, didn't get enough on it. Corey Anderson is caught in the deep by Shoah Malik. And there is the fifth one now. Well, this wicket will do world of good to Pakistan. He was deep in his crease. Couldn't really get the length right. Wanted to get under it. Couldn't control the stroke. Hit it up in the air. He was in the air for a long time. Shreve Malik has been outstanding when it comes to high catches. He took a couple of really good catches in the last series and taking another one. Happy man. New Zealand struggling now. Corey Anderson gone for nine. It's 123 for five. Hassan Ali has done the trick. Well, it makes a massive difference when you have a bowler like Hassan Ali, who's a wicket-taking bowler. Bowls nice and stressed, maybe a little bit of reverse swing, but a lot fuller. Ball coming in. New Zealand needed boundary. You can't really blame the youngster because the delivery was too good for him. That was his first delivery he faced. Hassan Ali has been outstanding once again for Pakistan. 132 for six. That's a beauty. Oh, it could run away. Will it run away? Not quite, will it? Ah, oh, yes, is it? <laughs> Gonna come upstairs, but I reckon a bit of the body touching. Oh, we'll just have a little look upstairs. Yeah. It was a great effort from the fielder, but I have a feeling that the ball was touching his body when uh, when he was, yes, there maybe. Just there. Not really sure from this angle, but definitely ball has crossed that line where the skirting was. So I have a feeling that even if it's not touching the body, this ball is going to go across that line. Difficult one, very difficult one for the third umpire. Great work from the from the two youngsters. This might be the difference. Yeah, it's the best angle too, I reckon. And yep, pass, pass an alley that is. Come on, chief. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we knew it was full. Right? Looking for their seventh victory in a row here. Pakistan. Yeah, and they've got it. They've won seven in a row. Have the green machine. High fives and big smiles all around for the home side. They have got up by just a couple of runs here in Abu Dhabi in match one. So 1-0 one to the home side. Ballant effort from uh, Ross Taylor. 42 from 26, but he ran nine twos in that inning. So he's uh, looking like, you know, just ran out a little bit of puff. And losing Anderson when they did was certainly a big moment in this match. Uh, just to recap once again, this is uh, match one. It's a three-match series. Pakistan having won the toss, 148 for six. And in the end, it was just too good for the New Zealanders by just a couple, 146 for six in their 20. And Munro and Taylor not quite good enough to get the Black Caps up over the line here in Abu Dhabi in match one of this three-match series.